thought for the day. A little progress each day adds up to big results over time. Welcome to 7 Minutes for Yourself. I'm Christina Ina, and I'm so glad you've joined me for what I believe will be 7 of the most enriching minutes of your day. Let's take this time to reconnect with ourselves and improve our well-being. In today's episode of 7 Minutes for Yourself, we talk about moving beyond fear and hesitation to live our best lives. Have a listen. In the world, and, and, and you know, you may be watching this right now, and you have these incredible ideas, and what you think is missing is motivation. And that's not true. Because the way that our minds are wired, and the fact about human beings, is that we are not designed to do things that are uncomfortable, or scary, or difficult. Our brains are designed to protect us from those things because our brains are trying to keep us alive. And in order to change, in order to build a business, in order to be the best parent, the best spouse, to do all those things that you know you want to do with your life, with your work, with your dreams, you're going to have to do things that are difficult, uncertain, or scary, which sets up this problem for all of us. You're never going to feel like it. is it so hard to do the little things that would improve my life? The way that our minds are designed is our minds are designed to stop you at all costs from doing anything that might hurt you. And the way that, 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 that this all happens is it all starts with something super subtle that none of us ever catch. And that is with this habit that all of us have that nobody's talking about. We all have a habit of hesitating. We have an idea, you're sitting in a meeting, you have this incredible idea, and instead of just, you know, saying it, you stop and you hesitate. Now what none of us realize is that when you hesitate, just that moment, that micro moment, that small hesitation, it sends a stress signal to your brain. So then your brain goes to work to protect you. It has a million different ways to protect you. One of them is called the spotlight effect. It's a known phenomenon where your brain magnifies risk. Why? To pull you away from something that it perceives to be a problem. And so you can truly trace every single problem or complaint in your life to silence and hesitation. Those are decisions. And what I do and what's changed my life is waking up and realizing that I'm never going to feel like doing the things that are tough or difficult or uncertain or scary or new. So I need to stop waiting until I feel like it. And number two, I am one decision away from a totally different marriage, a totally different life, a totally different job, a totally different income, a totally different relationship with my kids. Your life comes down to your decisions, and if you change your decisions, you will change everything. None of us wake up and say, today is the day I destroy my life. What we do is we kind of check out because it feels overwhelming, or we check out because we're afraid or we check out because we start listening to self-doubt, and then we make these teeny tiny decisions all day long, and we don't even realize it. A decision to not get up on time, a decision to not eat the right thing, a decision to snap at your kids, a decision to not speak in a meeting, a decision to not look for a job, a decision to not deal with your finances, a decision to not call your parents, like whatever it is. All day long, these tiny decisions that take you so far off track. And then you wake up like I did and, and you, you look at your life and you think, how the hell did I get here? And more importantly, how do you get back over there? And you have no idea. You get trapped in what I call the knowledge action gap. You know what to do, but you can't seem to make yourself do it. Instead of isolating yourself, pick up the phone and call a friend. 
Get yourself out into the woods and go for a walk. Start running again. Like all these little things that I was capable of, but I couldn't get out of here. Could not get out of here. And if if, if you're stuck, that's the problem. The problem is you're you're in your head. You're thinking. When you set goals, when you have an intention on something that you want to change about your life, your brain helps you. What it does is it opens up a checklist, and then your brain goes to work trying to remind you of that intention that you set. And it's really important to develop the skill, and I, I say that word purposefully: the skill of knowing how to hear that inner wisdom and that intention kicking in, and leaning into it quickly. Every human being has a five-second window. It might even be shorter for you. You have about a five-second window in which you can move from idea to action before your brain kicks into full gear and sabotages any change in behavior. Because remember, your brain is wired to stop you from doing things that are uncomfortable or uncertain or scary. It's your job to learn how to move from those ideas that could change everything. Into acting on them, because when you understand the power of a five-second decision, and you understand that you always have a choice to go from autopilot to decision maker, everything in your life will change. You will be a different negotiator. You will be different in sales. You will be unstoppable in the gym because you will realize the amount of garbage that you put in the way of your hopes, of your dreams, of your potential, of your confidence, of your courage. Everything comes down to the decisions that you make. We all know what to do. None of us know how to make ourselves do it. That concludes today's episode of Seven Minutes for Yourself. Please take a moment to rate and review the show on Apple Podcasts. Today and every day with your kiddo is a gift. Enjoy it. Thanks for tuning in.